Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, March 27, 2015. This week, working with blendable layers in Photoshop and Elements Part 5, putting it all together. Katie Pertit's blendable layers are a new concept in digital scrapbooking. Each blendable layer comes as a set of PNG images that you can customize by arranging and altering them. Each set is loaded with borders and overlays and images that you can use again and again. When you purchase a blendable layer product, you can use each of the layers separately on a different project, or you can mix and match them to create your own unique combination. This is the fifth in a series of videos in which we've demonstrated various ways to use the blendable layers. Using these techniques and adding in your own creative twist, you'll be able to use the blendable layers to create customized digital photo art. In the previous tip, I showed you four techniques for subtly changing the appearance of the layers. In this segment, I'll show you 10 ways to finish up your page in honor of Designer Digital's 10th birthday. Happy birthday, Designer Digitals! Begin by following the stacking process in the first tip of the series, and then customize the blendable layer to your liking using the techniques in the tip series. Next, you'll probably want to add a photo. Here are six creative ways to incorporate a photo into the blendable layers. These samples were designed by our creative team. Each page is as unique as the designer and all of them are incredibly inspiring. One way to add a photo is to use a very large image as the page background. Layer the blendable layer items on top of the photo to frame it and enhance it. Joanne used an aerial view of an island as the background, and then she subtly blended the layers into the image. Molly and Lynn and Sharon and Jana artfully arranged the layers over their photos to create these beautiful pages. Anka converted the blendable layers to white on this amazing page. And you can take your art to a whole new level like Joanne did on these two artsy pages. Add a photo by blending it into the design. Using the clipping technique in the second tip of the series, you can cover a layer with a photo like Irene, Joanne, and Liz and Brenda did on these pages. Experiment with applying a blending mode to the layer you've clipped with the photo. This blends the photo into the design. Joanne used a blending technique on these two pages. Add a photo by using a mask. Open a mask and use the Move tool to drag the mask onto the blendable layer document. Drag a photo over the mask and then create a clipping mask to cause the photo to take on the shape of the mask. Photo masks work really well with blendable layer styles. Add a framed photo. You can use the blendable layer document as a background and then frame a photo as the focus of the page. Here's one by Irene. And Anka put several frame photos on this one. Here's Katie's page with really cute frames on it. It's a good idea to scale back the busyness of the background when you're using a frame. You can do this by reducing the number of layers used, or you can change the colors to a more monochromatic scheme. Mix it up and use more than one method to add photos. You can combine techniques such as blending one photo and framing another on the same page, like Kathy and Liz did here. Use a cutout photo. Blendable layers lend themselves really well to cutouts. By eliminating the photo background, you can drag the photo over and under layers to get the look you want. Next, add a title to give your reader a theme. You can use a font. or you can use alphabets or word art.
This helps you express the main idea of the page. Remember the journaling. Record the names and dates and your thoughts somewhere on the page. Use the type tool to journal around a photo like Anka did here. Or down the side of the document like Lynn did on this page. You can also journal under the photo or on a tab or a tag or a frame or even a journaling card that you tuck into the page. If you leave room, you can do a whole page of journaling. Don't be afraid to dress up your page with embellishments. You can add dimension and interest by choosing a few well-placed elements. Finally, you can use a blendable layer as a pocket page filler. Make a pocket card for your Project Life type page by clipping your layered document to a card like Katie did here. Alternatively, you can drag some layers onto a filler card to design something truly unique and beautiful. Blendable layers are a wonderful way to achieve your design goals. You'll find yourself using the individual layers over and over again on different projects to document your days. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital Tips.